Hey, what is going on ladies and the gentlemen, my name is Corbett, and I'll be your host today for Europa Universalis 4. Welcome back for episode 78 of our World Conquest slash Golden Century run as Spain, where last episode we took a pretty large chunk out of Russia and banished Japan to South Korea, while also starting a war with the Netherlands to reconquest the English cores over here. I'll soon be doing the same thing, but for France, uh, I think I might need a few more men though. I've been reorganizing a couple of the armies. Um, I might need more men, but I'm not entirely sure yet. I should also turn this guy into a full army. I should also have him moved over here so that I can declare on Moravi and such. Uh, especially since I'll be declaring war on France, it might be a good idea to do that. Um, but anyways, on to the war with the Netherlands and with, uh, with France. We finished up with Kent and England's gonna finish the rest of these things for us. We're just beating up on the uh, the Dutch Navy over here. We have a couple of separatists and I think someone fought my um, not my transport but my merchant navy. That's what it looks like to me. Did someone just fight my merchant navy? Who would have done that? It would have been the Netherlands probably. But where would that have been? Right here. Someone decided to use their ships to slap my poor merchants. Why would you do that? It's kind of rude. Ah, uh, well, it's not too much of a problem. We just have to wait three more months and... Oh, there goes a stab. Um, but I can beatify very soon. I just need to finish up a couple of these conversions. Um, so, the Netherlands, they were here, but they've gone and disappeared. I don't know why. Um, there we go, we're gonna crush that Dutch fleet right there. We're gonna give you a repair tick. And you guys are gonna come back over to here so that we can fight the French. And yeah, I'm thinking... Uh, even if I took all of this, this is 100%. Um, well, these cores are actually acting as double, double cost, I believe. So, it might be enough to drop the Netherlands down to, uh, one war, but I'm not entirely sure. Right now they're at 217. Um, I think I calculated this was 71%. And my best guess is that, like, each island's only worth, like, 1%. Uh, no, actually, they're worth... Actually, those are my islands, sorry. Um, yes, these are worth 1% war score, 2% war score on occasion, but mostly 1. That's why it costs, like, 2 to take, because despite being 1, it's actually more than that. Um, so I could actually keep these around and then have them concede Australia afterwards in an imperialism war, which would allow me to take a couple more provinces. For instance, this one. Um, these two, yeah. That would leave him with just the Netherlands and his colonial Australia, which he'll finish as a subject, but that'll actually just make it cheaper, I think, to concede. Um, anyway. Anyway, anyway. Let's move these guys down to here. And, oh, good lord, this is a lot of separatism. Seems like each month we just have more and more. Which would make sense, but also please stop. Why are you guys upset? Oh right, separatism would still be rampant, wouldn't it? Separatism itself isn't really solved. Uh, you guys are going to deal with these issues though. Confucian zealots, I haven't seen that in a while, so hopefully we go after that first. I'll take inflation, that's not as much of an issue. Um, and I'll core, and then we'll have just the one core, except this is under siege, so we'll have to wait until we take those guys down. Um, I actually want you to fight these guys first. Siberian, Yan Separatists, uh, Rebels, Rebels, Rebels. Lots and lots of Rebels. Thankfully, they shouldn't be too much of an issue. Except up to the number of men I have around these parts. Uh, let's go and convert a little more. And shoot, soon we should be able to beatify. Yeah, every month we're going to get more and more rebels. Uh, now I can beatify. 
Unrest is great. A national Unrest is... Oh yeah, those merchant concerns are completely wiping out any benefit I would have gotten from Humanist. And those last another two years, I think. If I remember correctly, so... Yeah, a little bit annoying. Um, let's have you guys deal with this stuff over here as well. And let's go for another conversion. These guys are off doing their own things. Okay, good, good. That should be able to manage itself. It really is, like, literally two months. Two months until, uh... Until everything here is solved, like... A lot of these cores actually come up in two months, so... So that's in a year, sorry, a year and two months. My bad. So, one more year of this and we'll be okay. Uh, I don't like how someone else's rebels have gone and done this, though. That's not cool. How about you come over here? You guys can deal with these minor separatists over here. Um, we didn't even take as much overextension as last time, but we're getting, like, rebels as bad as those ones. Which kind of sucks, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of unfortunate. Would have loved to not have to deal with, what is it, like 40 different uh, rebel, rebel armies popping up here? Kind of annoying. But we should be able to manage those, so I am still going to declare on France. For reconquest of Coventry, I think. Uh, Bohemia and Desmond, that's okay. Let's actually have you go... Oh, never mind. If they can't go over there, then they can't reach us either, so I'm just going to go for their forts. That's okay. Um, Norwegian Separatists. A little bit of an odd bunch there, but alright. Oh, there we go. And they've actually pieced out with the Netherlands, which means I'll be able to take their capital, and that'll be great. Alright, solid stuff. I just have to deal with the absolute anarchy going on around here. Yeah, look at this stuff. Look at this. This is disgusting. Ah, <sighs> okay. You guys can be dealt with. You guys are cleaning all that up. You're cleaning all this up. You are going to deal with Korea for me because they're going to rise up at some point. You guys are going to deal with the stuff down here. You're going to deal with the stuff over here. Um, yeah, these guys are actually busy. But you know who isn't busy? This guy. How about you be busy? How about you do something? Wouldn't that be cool? If you did something. How about you as well? We have the troops for a reason. You might as well use them. Everyone here can do something. Um, I could also hire more Merc Stacks at this point in time. Should I? I am making enough money to just justify as many Mercs as I need or want. I've already hired like seven. Um, maybe Jiang wouldn't be so bad. Just slap one down, whatever. I realize I had 2% professionalism, but it is what it is. I mean, I could just, like, slam down a little bit of mill. But no, I'd rather just keep going through humanist. Or, sorry, eye quality. So, Peru, do you guys care? Peru, Peru, Peru. Nope. Show them who rules the colonies. And how about we increase the opinion of our subjects? How are you guys doing? Pretty fine, okay. Um, so next month we're going to get another wave of, like, 10. Right? Yeah, I think that was 10. Maybe 11, 12? A lot. A lot of Separatists all over the place. Super annoying. Um, but you guys are suppressing over there. You guys are making your way over to Cairo, and then you'll suppress up around here. Um, I think those are all the troops we have around here, actually. I don't think I've missed any. Have I misplaced any troops? I don't think so. And Russia's just, um, slapping the Kamchadels. Rest in peace, those guys. You're not doing anything, so how about we move you into Japan as well. The Free Swiss Guard making its way over to Japan. Uh, these poor guys are far from home. Alright, so I think this is going to be enough for the auto-suppression to do its thing. I'll just focus on fighting the war. 
And let's, uh, let's actually have you guys here as well. Well, let's go beat those guys up. There we go. Solid siege over there. Just take the capital and that should be it. I think. Uh, you took everything but Coventry. Would you like to take Coventry, please? That would be great, thanks. You guys are dealing with that. More rebels. I'm just not even going to look at them at this point because I know that I have the auto suppression doing its thing. I think all of China's covered. Um, pretty much, let's just have someone cover that little piece down here as well. Um, but yeah, if everything's covered, then I don't have to worry. It's just a matter of time before it's all cleaned up. The only things you'll have to worry about are these three islands, and that'll be it. Uh, in fact, if you guys could go and deal with said islands... I don't know if you'll get there on time, but if you do, that'd be sick. No, not on time, but... It'll get there. So let's have you... Drop down to here. I wish I could mark units of special interest and, like, give it a different... Like, a, like have that pop-up be a different background color or something when they're done. Wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that be neat? Uh, never mind. These guys are utterly stupid. So, I'm actually gonna have to deal with them myself. Like, these guys have the smallest brain for an AI I've ever seen in my life. Um, yeah, you guys can deal with this as well. Like, why would you... They're like, oh, gotta sneak by these guys just to get back to our post and then move down one tile. Like, come on, man, really? That's how we're playing this game today? Uh, anyway. Um, you guys are supposed to deal with you. We're dealing with that. That's cool. We're gonna keep going along France here. Uh, let's go for Paris. Let's go for Avignon. Let's go over here. Actually, can I go to Bohemia? I can. So let's go and get Bohemia out of this war. We'll go for Paris. Good thing they grabbed Coventry. That's solid stuff. My subjects are uh, physically incapable of knowing how to siege a single island in the uh, Caribbean, so it's rather unfortunate. Um, oh, they also have nine heavies. Okay, that's actually terrifying for a subject. They don't know how to deal with those nine heavies. I'm surprised they can actually afford those nine heavies, because you have one province. So... How are you affording those nine heavies? You make five ducats a month, and you're telling me you're whipping out five heavies? Really? Huh. Kinda weird, but okay. So, we're gonna siege down Paris, and then we're gonna move these guys up into here, deal with those rebels. Unless I can hire another, like, merch stack. Um, this seems like it'd be French. No, uh, sorry, that's not even a French word. It's the auxiliaries. <laughs> Never mind. I saw A U X and I was like, oh, it must be French. Um, let's see. Let's get something useful. Madagascar. Nope. Ganges. No. Nope. Nope. Are there no like French ones that I can grab? Of course, I can slap down the Grand Company anywhere. Um, sure, you guys can get hired there. All right, there you go. You guys will just deal with this for me. Thank you very much. More separatism, but at that point, I think we're running out of separatists. We're not going to have enough Separatists to fight soon. Uh, let's get rid of you guys. Hey, a bunch of cores are done. It brings us to 153, so not enough cores, but all we have to do is wait six months and we'll be done. Uh, the Siege of Paris has been completed. The Netherlands are actually very close to finishing up here, so I might just wait. Like a month or two or something. Bohemia, please. And there you go. In fact, we should only have to wait a month. Uh, naval battle, that's not good. Uh, more separatism. But it's being taken care of. Maybe not. No, it is. It's being... Yeah, it's, it's fine. 
Take care of those guys, and we'll move down here, take care of those guys, you're taking care of that guy. All this is being dealt with. I imagine... Actually, I don't even know where most of these Separatists are. Like, we kind of lost them, or they're not really there anymore. Here, you guys can go there, you guys can go here. Like, I know, re like, Rebels popped up somewhere. I don't know where, though. West Africa? Uh, no, but Central Africa, yeah. Okay, that's something. There's nothing in West Africa. So rebels, um, in theory. Maybe. Also, where's my music? It's very quiet. Let's grab some... War music. Yeah, more rebels don't know where those are this time either. Um... As long as everything looks fine, I'm, I mean, I'm not seeing an issue. How are we doing with the Netherlands? Hey, they'll accept the peace. A peace for all of their uh, islands out in the middle of the Pacific. And that's about it. I would have liked to full annex this guy, but I guess we'll have to do that like manually, which kind of sucks. But oh well. I will bid you adieu. Thank you, Netherlands, for those English cores. And all of these that I get to core up as well. Uh, oh, Tunis. That's kind of weird. Haven't seen that name in a long time. Welcome back, Tunis. Let's have you guys drop down to here. And... I could declare Moravi as well. Hmm. I don't know if that's a good idea. Alright, yeah, the Separatists are taken care of pretty quickly these days, so... Um, I think we're gonna be okay. There's a little bit down there. Can't forget about these parts over here. Yeah, watch. This guy's gonna pull the smallest brain move possible. He's gonna move? Oh, I thought he was gonna siege down something else again. Ah, he's evolved. I see. Alright, let's have, uh... Let's have these guys move down here, actually. Minor inconvenience, sure, sure. If you want to call it that. And more Confucian stuff. I'm just going to convert all the Confucian. Just get rid of an entire uh, group. Sure, why not? Whatever. And I think I did set a timer for today. It's either going to go off in like two seconds, or I never set one. Uh, wow, okay. Six minutes, really? Seven minutes? Hmm. Weird. Alright, I thought it's been a lot longer. Maybe that's just the late game getting to me. Um, but we're almost done coring those. You guys can deal with that dude. Uh, we've occupied this. We've occupied Bohemia. And one of his other things, so he can leave. Get rid of that alliance, get rid of this alliance. I actually don't care about that alliance. I don't care about any of those alliances, just... Uh... Give me a truce. I'll move over here, and I'll move over there. So I'm able to core all this stuff, which is good. Uh, these will be done soon. i slap those guys in Dumfries. We're gonna slap the ships as well. well uh, yeah, I'm at war with Desmond, so I'm gonna have to deal with that. And I also want to declare war on Moravi. While France isn't guaranteeing them, I'm pretty sure they can't guarantee someone they're not bordered with. Or at least, like, the French AI will not guarantee someone that they're not bordered with really just AI in general. That's also going to go to England. Um, so let's clean up the French colonies as well. So that's going to be mine. Thankfully, they didn't colonize a bunch of random islands in the middle of nowhere, so I actually do appreciate that, France. Uh, how much AE is that? Ugh, pretty significant amount. 
Um, is it really that much more though? Like how much AE did I create? France would hate me. Poland was already here. Genoa was already here. Brittany will join. Uh, Lithuania was already here. Luxembourg will join. That's not much of a difference. After Luxembourg, we have Lithuania. Who's already going to join, actually? Uh, Austria, Aachen, Berg, Cologne, and Strasbourg. So I actually don't want to take these. Um... I will take Cornwall, and I will take his colonies, but that's it. And then I think I'll have to Imperialism him twice, because this mad lad's been deving so hard, he's still third number, you know, still number three great power, despite having, like, 20 provinces. Uh, he's just been deving like an absolute mad lad. Look at this dev. Look at this, 52 on Paris. He's had nothing to do but dev. He can't conquer, so... He's just been deving the entire time. Kind of a mad lad, but also super annoying. Let's crush that Desmond fleet. Uh, are we still getting rebels? Really? Eh, I believe it. All right, uh, but they're all being—they're uh, all being dealt with, so. Nothing to be too concerned about. Just gonna have you deal with that. Gonna have you moved into here. No, we're gonna have you moved into here. Or not. Apparently we're not gonna have you move into here. There we go. Um, and you're gonna deal with those guys, or someone's gonna deal with those guys. Hey, a bunch of cores done. Are we still at over 100? Yes, sir, but just barely. Let's wait two months, and then we won't be. Watch, in those two months, we're gonna get, uh, like five different rebel groups, guaranteed. Uh, four, maybe. It's possible. And if it's possible, it's gonna happen. That's just how U4 is. Uh, hey, we finished up colonizing Hihi. <laughs> nice. There we go. That's the real content you've been waiting for. All right, let's have uh, let's have this colonist go do something stupid like just yeah, just sit there, whatever. Um, and then who cares about the merchants anymore? And I could well marry a subject, but my legitimacy kind of sucks. Should probably grab this. I didn't think my legitimacy would drop so much, but overextension kind of hurts. Does stuff to your legitimacy, so. It's expected. I just need to get Desmond out right here. Straight for the capital, no mercy. Um. Naples needs help? Sure. Take that. Apparently they have pretenders, which we can't allow them to enforce their demands, so we are actually going to go down there. Um, do this. Yeah, we're not going to let them enforce demands. We built them in, like, a level 9 capital. Or a uh, level 9 fort there, so they're going to be okay. Are you... Oh, wow, they actually are in London right now. Uh, more cores, more conversions. And you're going to deal with those separatists. These guys are... Squeaky clean of separatism. There's nothing left there unless Korea. Nope, Korea's done. Okay. Surely someone's gonna deal with this, right? Like, oh no, we have literally no one dealing with that. Never mind. Here, you should deal with that as well, just in case. Someone deal with it. And you're back on this duty for some reason. You're not actually doing anything. Which makes me question who does have this order. I don't know. This guy? Apparently, yeah. Okay. Uh, siege is over. That would be... None of these. I'm just confused. A fort? A uh, rebel fort? Well, there are separatists over there. These guys were supposed to deal with that. It's so hard to see this. This is a dark green. That background color does not help. Okay, here we go. 
There goes that. We've occupied a bunch of French land. They're 81%. We're taking the capital of Desmond, which will now break their alliance with France, Uffaly, and Silly, and will give me war reps and a bit of cash. I'll be back later for imperialism, so sit tight there, bud. As for France themselves, they should be nearly done. I don't know why they're still at high, actually. Maybe there's a battle going on? Nope. They're just full of themselves. I see. Let's not forget about these uh, Tunisian separatists as well. Let's have these guys deal with them. Auto rebel suppression, please and thank you very much. These guys... Okay, we already have someone going down there. That's great. Okay, now has been fixed. We've gotten rid of that rebel problem, so you're going to come down to... Here, deal with those guys. Alright, great. I'm really glad I actually did build those level 8 forts, because I haven't had to re-siege like a single fort so far. I don't think. Um, I don't suppose there's like an upgrade button. We can decrease my cost actually, which should be the, uh, the upgrade version. Just for instance, if you go to Luanda, do you have a fort? No, you don't. Okay, so anything that's what is tropical would do? Decrease construction cost? Yes, it is. Okay. That would make sense. Oh, France has been sieging the Balkans. I didn't even notice. Come on, France. Why you gotta be like that, man? I'm surprised we even have rebels still. Uh, I thought we got rid of our 100% overextension. Yeah, we did. Okay. Kind of weird. Um, but we're nearly done, so... Yeah, there are almost no rebels left. So, France, would you like to give back all of this land, and this, and... I'll just hand that off to England. So, all of this, I could get rid of an alliance as well, which would be like, what? Actually, nothing. You can give me money, though, just to say screw you. Actually, hmm... Yeah, I don't want them in a coalition not to begin with, so... Oh, we're playing this game, are we? Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're doing this. Okay, I see. We're playing the most annoying part, which is uh, why hotkeys don't work. Or sorry, these, these uh, commands or whatever. These buttons, when used in certain ways, don't work. So I'll take the max, I'll take war reps. I'll actually... Oh, oh, oh baby, please. I think it's like something like 50 war scores the issue. So I want to take max minus 2. War score, right? And then I want all of these provinces. And then they would say no, come on, man. But if I do this, it drops down. I click once, it drops down by a ton of war score because that's how game design works, right? Anyway, um, I guess it's because they had like, I guess because they weren't willing to accept more. I guess that's the reason why. I still hate it, but thanks, game. At least let me check, but they won't even let me check. Whatever. So we'll take all this stuff and we'll be done. Beautiful Spanish Southern Africa looks like an absolute. Uh, it just looks like garbage, actually. I mean, just look at this. What? What is this? It doesn't have to be this way. Whatever. Um, this is going to go to England. England gets restored to pre-destruction. Uh, and then I'll just probably imperialism him, co-belligerent the Isles and do something. The Netherlands finally fall. Defender against the yeah, Colonial Dutch National War. It is GG for the Netherlands. No more men. No more will to fight. Um, as for ourselves, though, I'll probably wait a little bit in Europe before taking Letzteburg and Liège. And then I'll go after Austria or something. Yeah, or something. I do still need to clean up the rest of this. That's going to cost me quite a bit of admin. Huh. Oh, yeah, and all of these are going to have separatism, aren't they? Watch. <laughs> yeah, you know it, buddy. You know it, man. I think Paradox on purpose decided to make all of these um, particularists so that they're not as cancer. 
Because imagine how cancer would be if they were separatists or something. Or maybe because there are just no tags that can be generated from these cultures. That's also possible. There are no tags for this for this culture or region, so... There's nothing they can actually make as separatism. Or as separatists. Hmm. Weird. Anyways. Um... I think that's going to be the end of today's episode. We're ending this one off at... Uh... 15... Point four thousand Empire Dev. We're gonna come back next time, maybe finishing up the annexation of Mashriq Persia, and probably doing some stuff in East Africa here, or maybe some more um, in this part of the world. I mean, he's only at he's only at six hundred percent over extension. He clearly needs more. Uh, but for now, this is Corbett signing off, and as always, have a fantastic day. I'd like to give a quick thank you to all of the patrons you see up on screen here for the month of December. Particularly those starting in the general tier, we have Client Guy, Brennan Arsenault, Bren Greenhagen, Torvald, Farin, Brumant, and Natsuki. In the Prince tier, we have Snow Raven, Rockbox2020, and TFLJ Martis. In the King tier, we have Chewy Shoot and Corbite. And in the Conqueror of Worlds tier, we have the Watcher. Thank you guys so much for your pledges, it really does mean a lot to me.